Valentine. What is that old movie about? I think it was a gangster movie. Just about the time I thought I was done, they reel me back in. Mm, there we Just go. Just about the time we thought it was drying out, it's back. Yes. We didn't have enough rain. Oh, I guess good. not. <laughs> Apparently yeah, not. Talk to the folks in Lufkin that had 10 and a half inches of rain. Cannot yeah, so we that. tell everybody to pray for rain. Pray for rain. Yeah, pray Stop for rain. rain. God answered. And, yeah. God answered. <laughs> Mother Nature was like, hold my beer. Here's yeah. some more. Exactly. Oh, so you want some more rain? Yeah. Oh, here we yeah. go. So nothing like what we saw earlier this week. We've mm. been saying that all afternoon, but you know, a quick little half inch or inch of rain. It's certainly possible. Let's go ahead and talk about what's happening in Longview. Folks, we've been encased in cloud cover all day. That kept our temperatures in the middle to upper 50s for the most part. So it was a cool day and we've seen a lot of cool days because of the cloud cover and all the rain that we have seen over the past couple of days. But there are your temperatures. Most of us in the 50s. We've got Lufkin and Hemphill both at 60 degrees. Crockett's at 59. It's 54 in Athens. We're at 54 in Sulphur Springs right now. There you go, Neil. Apple Springs yeah, yeah. seeing a little bit of rain and we continue to see a couple of showers. It will be on and off for Trinity County tonight. And as we look further off to the east, Angelina County we will continue to see some off and on showers here or there, maybe some heavier downpours to the east of Lufkin. And then as we move a little further off to the north, what I'm starting to notice here are just some showers, maybe some pockets of heavier rain at times from Murkison to the Van Zant County line to Highway 64 and then from Van to Mineola and Quitman towards Winsboro. We're also seeing some pretty good rain, but I'll zoom out. Here's what's happening across the board. Uh, we do have some pretty intense storms in Newton County. I'm hoping that that does not clip Sabine County, but we'll keep an eye on it, uh, but we will have to watch out for that over the next couple of hours or so. But as we look at future cast, still tracking some showers across our eastern counties at midnight. After this, I think deep east Texas is going to be done for the most part, but after midnight, we'll see another push of energy across Interstate 20 and pointing northward through 7 o'clock. We're still dealing with drizzle. We could see drizzle in our northern counties through about 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon, but after that, we're just mostly cloudy. We're seeing a few passing clouds Saturday night, and then we'll start to see sunshine return by Sunday morning. So all in all, Sunday will be chilly, but at least we will have that sunshine returning. How much rain could we see? Maybe a half inch if you're seeing some heavier rain tonight. It's likely to be long Interstate 30. You can see from Sulphur Springs to Mount Pleasant around an inch or so of rain, so we'll keep an eye on that. But as we look at your weekend forecast, I'm keeping a 30% chance of rain in the forecast for tomorrow morning, but that does move out by the afternoon. We rebound to 54, 57, plenty of sunshine on Sunday. Let's advance to the next seven days. There you go. Rain chances early tomorrow. We hit 54, 57 Sunday, plenty of sunshine Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. A few passing clouds around Thursday with another shower or two possible by Friday. And then as we look at deep east Texas, similar deal. Some showers before the sun rises tomorrow. Most of it is gone by Saturday afternoon. We'll see plenty of sunshine Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Neil Casey. Thank you, sir.